Refuse to be sick. Did you hear what I just said now? Refuse to be sick. Don't tell yourself, oh, this is, you know, you know we live in, in Africa. Malaria is compulsory. Uh, you know, every month, every month, that mo monthly malaria, it, it just comes. Uh, 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 you know, some, of, some people, some people, they are, so, they are expert drug takers. You don't even need water anymore. You know, some mothers have become um, pharmacists through experience. Just touch, touch. Ah, this one is malaria. Look at your eyes, malaria. <laughs> She's not a doctor, but she already knows. You know, instead of educating them on all those drugs, why don't you educate them to know how to lay their hands? The question is this what if one day no drug is going to help? You have this pain that keeps coming. You've taken Panadol. Panadol doesn't work anymore now. You've gone to Panadol Extra. It doesn't work anymore now. You've gone to Panadol Extra Extra. It doesn't work anymore now. You've gone to Ibrufin. What is Pastor Uma? Which one is it? What's it called? Ibrupofin. Profane. Okay. You go to Ibrupofin. It doesn't work anymore. Very soon it's cocaine you need. I, I don't take drugs, I don't take drugs, it's just, it's just for the pain. Christ in me, Christ in me, Christ in me, Christ in me. Christ in me. End with the story, a young girl had just received Christ. And she read from the scriptures how that now that she's born again, she has a hope in heaven. So she was lying on the bed thinking to herself, Oh, because the doctor said she wasn't going to recover. Because the sickness was, was what? Terminal, yeah, terminal. So she was lying down and just waiting, maybe humming songs like, This world is not my home, I am just passing through if heaven's not my home what i do you know the angels beckon me from heaven's open door and i can't feel at home in this world anymore you know you just imagine singing that song just waiting for the angel that will come and carry her then she took a bible and she was reading and meditating reading and meditating and she got to peter and peter said by whose stripes ye were healed he said what were healed he is, she said dear lord jesus you have to hold on a while i'm not coming back soon childlike faith she just jumped off the bed and started running the, around the house. I was healed. Then I'm healed. I was healed. Then I'm healed. And you know what? When her mother caught her running, her mother yanked her, took her back to the bed. Why? Because they told her mom that toward the end of her life, she would go mad. So her mom thought, she's mad now. Look at the girl shouting, I'm healed. Saying, you're not healed, you're about to die. <laughs> took her, slammed her on the bed. I said, hold her. And she kept screaming. She couldn't, nobody could hold her. She said, Mama, look, look what the scripture says. Jesus said, I was healed by his stripes. If I was healed, then I'm healed. And you know what? She said, Mama, I'm hungry. The mom was looking, never eaten for a while, never had an appetite. She said, I'm hungry. She ate and that was it. From then, she continued living that life. Continued living that life. What have you believed? that have kept you in that sickness? What have you believed that have kept that pain in your life? Today I bring you good news. I bring you good news. Eternal life has been revealed. Eternal life is here now. That heart condition can be perfected right now. Your heart can be perfected. 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 Life. Life inside of you. And all of a sudden, you'll find out that that irregular heartbeat has stopped. You'll find out it has stopped. Your liver is not dead. Christ lives in you. 
You know, your liver is not dead. And listen, don't let the devil cheat you out of your miracle. Sometimes people, they say, oh, I deserve this. Why? Because I was a smoker. Listen to me. Jesus died for all your sins. This thing is not what you deserve. It's what you get freely. It's a gift. It's a gift. You don't qualify for it. It's a gift. God doesn't heal you because you're perfect. He heals you because he loves you. He heals you because he loves you. He gives you his love because he loves you. He gives you the gift of eternal life because he loves you. In fact, that gift is for sinners. While we're yet sinners, Christ died. When did God give you eternal life? As a sinner. When you believed, you received it freely as a sinner. So you don't say, oh, I don't qualify. If you think that, oh, it was a disease that brought it. It was, a, it was some disobedience or some lifestyle that brought that disease to your body. Then listen, God gives it to you freely. You don't qualify for it. It is a show and demonstration of his love. You can receive it. You can receive it.